Hey everyone, I'm 3D Hansa, and I'm here to walk you through the assembly process of my latest 3D printed robot, PipBot 2.0. PipBot stands for Print in Place Robot, which means you can print the whole model in one go, already fully assembled. I've also made sure to design the model so that you can print it in separate parts. This gives you the flexibility to choose different colors or materials for your robot. It's all about customization. So whether you prefer printing it all at once or experimenting with different parts, I've got you covered. In this example, I'll be using PipBot 2.0 Beta. You'll find five folders with all the necessary parts. The belt consists of 24 modules that are connected together and printed as a single piece. For this assembly, you'll require two belts. The body serves as the main component that connects everything together, providing stability and support. The engine case is where the servo will be placed. There are two variants of the engine case, one for each side. Additionally, for each servo, you'll need a gear with 16 teeth, which is included in the engine folder. The wheels are relatively simple. You'll need four wheels, and to secure them from sliding off the axle, you'll require four ring locks. Lastly, you'll need four wheel axles. Each side has its own axle, but since the front and back are symmetrical, there are only two models. You'll need to print four axles in total, one pair for the front and the same pair for the back. With these components, we're ready to start assembling our robot. The body is the core component that keeps everything together. It's like the foundation of this robot platform. You'll notice that it's one model that folds like a taco. Now grab those four prints of the wheel axles. Since the model is symmetrical, you'll have two mirrored models printed twice. Slide the interlocking part of the axles into the body model. Ensure that the concave shapes are facing each other in the area where the motors will be placed. We've laid the basic foundation for a simple vehicle chassis. Keep in mind that since this is an ongoing project, the model you see in the video may vary slightly depending on the version. However, the core functionality will remain the same throughout all versions of this model. With the axles successfully connected to the body, let's move on to the engine part. But before we do that, it's a good idea to prepare the servos. This entire model was built around the standard servo motor MG995 with continuous rotation. These motors are incredibly strong, thanks to the metal gears inside. Plus, they're versatile and easy to control using different controllers. Now I know the model may seem larger compared to the first PipBot 1.0, but trust me, I've done my best to keep it as compact as possible. To make the servo smaller, you'll need to trim away any screw parts that are sticking out of it. I recommend using sandpaper to smooth out any uneven cuts or edges. Give it a try and see if the servo slides in and out smoothly within the engine case. When you get a servo, it usually comes with some additional parts. We'll need to trim those as well so that it fits inside the middle gear. Optionally, you can screw the gear to the servo using the hole in the gear if you prefer a more secure connection. Once you've taken care of the servo, set it aside for now, and let's continue building. Slide both engine cases into the middle of each side. Make sure to push them against the table until they are leveled with both wheel axles. Now, let's shift our attention to the wheels. Each wheel shares the same shape. On one side of the wheel, you'll notice a special hole positioned between the teeth. The purpose of this hole is to facilitate the smooth sliding of the middle gear into the engine casing. It's important to ensure that these holes are facing each other during the assembly process. Next, put the belts on the wheels and arrange them in a way that allows you to slide the main body part inside all four wheels. Slide the whole body part into the wheels. Now take both middle gears and put them inside the engine part. Give them a little wiggle until they fall into place. Turning the wheels can sometimes help with this. With the gears securely inside, the belt won't fall off, but we still need to lock the wheels on the axis. Grab the four wheel lock prints and place them on each wheel. Inside each ring, you'll notice small bumps that align with the holes on the end of each axle. Make sure to align them together. Push them down and give them a slight twist to securely lock them in place. At this stage, the robot platform is complete. Unfold the model and place it on the table. Now, rotate the middle gear by moving the tracks until the hole in the gear is parallel to the main body. 
Repeat this step for both sides of the robot. Next, grab the servo and adjust its orientation so that it aligns with the desired direction. Slide the servo into the slot inside the engine model, ensuring that the wires are facing towards the center. Push it down firmly until it stops against the middle gear. If you followed the steps correctly, you should hear the servo engage when you turn the belt. Gently tuck the wires inside the middle slot and fold the platform back into its original shape. Make sure the wires pass through the hole in the center of the platform for proper routing and organization. If you prefer an alternative wire routing and don't want them going through the center, there's another option available. On each side of the machine, you'll find two holes where the wires can be rerouted if your project requires it. And there you have it. Now, we have a fully assembled platform with motors, all set and ready to be connected to a controller of your choice. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to use a fantastic little board called the BBC Microbit. However, you're not limited to just that. You can also use other popular options like ESP32, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, or even a regular RC controller. The possibilities are endless. So choose the controller that best suits your needs and get ready for some exciting robotics action.